Hey YouTube, Custom Collector here. Uh, today I bring to you the second piece in the Avengers line that I've started with the uh, Avengers base similar to the Sideshow Avengers. Um, wasn't sure how long it was going to be before Sideshow decided to do a cap. So we did cap on the first run. Now uh, here I have the Thor to show you. Um, as you can see it does have the four switch out heads just as our exclusive cap had has the uh, modern head with the modern arms, the classic head, and the scroll head. Um, I'll get all these things attached here in a minute and show you how everything displays. Give you some detail look here on the uh, modern version that comes with the chainmail arms. Uh, the switch out arms and heads, especially this mini on a feature like this, is something that I uh, haven't seen done. So I said, what the hey. Uh, I think the closest thing Sideshow has to it is the Silver Surfer comic yet and here's the scroll version with the scroll arms the back over here that's the classic version um, hammer does is removable it does come out of his hand um, we did manage to get the inscription on the hammer which is a pretty cool feature with anything that you do uh, Thor related and as with Cap we went and mashed up a little bit of everything to make of Thor's costume over the years to make it to where with each feature kind of brings out the special versions of each costume. This here is our Ultimates head based off the Joe Mads artwork. Um, I have it here with the uh, Ultimate head on the Captain America so if you you know wanted to display an Ultimate setup you could have both of the guys here uh, to go with that. Um, the head and arms are held on with magnets, so they're not pegs. Um, give you a shot here in the back before we put the cape on. Yes, he does have a removable cape. Um, like I said, we went a little, a little bit of everything. We matched his Ultimates costume, his modern costume, and went with a lot of the classic colors. A lot of detail. This was done by the same company or the same uh, commission group that did my. Captain America um, resin pieces uh, with uh, next level designs so uh, thank those guys for like I said I mean the sculpting on this is just as phenomenal as the Captain America um, has a nice weight to it not too heavy to where you're worried about the shelf breaking but still feels like the God of Thunder go ahead and remove one of the arms here you can see it has the magnet there and the magnet inside so very very sturdy um, go ahead and get his modern setup and I mean they just click right in so like I said excellent feature for this piece we wanted to give something different wanted something I mean that's the reason you get you get into custom statues is because you want to have versatility and I mean you can pick up a Thor statue you can pick up a Hulk statue you can pick up a cap statue but just having the versatility to make the different costumes and it cuts down on because a lot of you if anybody's like me they got a lot of problems with space and space display is another reason come up with this idea actually me and a good friend of mine come up with this idea so that uh it kind of gave you a little bit of everything to where you could display still have room and just kind of move your collection around and one day have a modern Thor, one day have a classic Thor. If you want an ultimate Thor, you got ultimate Thor. If you want to do secret invasion, you've got a scroll Thor. Get a shot of the cape here. Cape's really well done. Um, like the paint on this. I mean, most of the design on this was, I gave them every step of the way. So, very good team to work with. Really happy with those guys. Go ahead and, uh, Get the classic head going here. Thing is, you gotta, it's almost like a puzzle. You gotta do the, do it backwards. So, get those arms off. And we'll put the bare arms back on. It's probably one of my longer videos just from putting everything together. And then the cape. Just slides over there and fits into his chest pieces. And we'll put the 
There we are. We'll go ahead and get Cap in on the action here and get his classic head going. So, there's a shot of classic Cap, classic Thor. Same statue, just a few removable pieces. Um, got it here with the Scarlet Witch and the Sideshow Miss Marvel. So you can kind of see kind of how in scale. Uh, Thor is 20, right at 20 inches to the top of his wings. Um, if you're wondering about being in scale with Cap, then Cap is 19 inches. So you got the, uh, the size differential there. Um, went with the real bulky look on Thor. Wanted to um, wanted to give him the ultimate build. So sorry for the camera going all over the place. Get one more thing here. We'll get the scroll Thor going. Which I feel is one of the features. I know the Spider Woman come with it from Sideshow. Not sure if they ever plan on giving us another one, but hey, I don't need them. I've got Cap and Thor in the scroll version. Go ahead and invite Cap to the party here. Now Cap does have a peg system instead of the magnets, so but anywho, there you are, you have your partial scroll army. There's all the pieces to make the cap and the Thor. Let's go ahead and show you how Thor's hammer slides in here. Just got to work it into his arm. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, just like with anything um, that you see on my page, uh, I'd be happy to answer them. You hit me at, uh, I got the uh, email address on the, on the YouTube page. Um, and... Here we got the cap, we got Thor, we got uh, another big green guy in the works right now. So, and yes, he will have the switch out head features as well. So, stay tuned for that. That should be, it's probably about two months out. Appreciate all the uh, subscribers and all the nice comments from you guys. Um, really love doing these things. So, you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Have a good night and. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.